All right, so we're going to look at how you can work with restore points on your machine via Windows PowerShell. So to start off, we have this command here called disable computer restore point. And by supplying it a drive letter, you can disable uh, system restore on that drive. So let me show you. And you'll see here, system restore is turned off. So let's enable it by using enable computer restore, supply it the drive letter. And you'll see now system restore is running on my system. So what if you want to see what restore points you have? Well, we have get computer restore point and it gives us this little list of when it was created, the description, and the sequence number. So I ran this myself yesterday at 11 a.m. and overnight Windows updates were performed and it created its own restore point at 3 o'clock in the morning. So that's how you can see what restore points you have. What if you want to create a restore point? Well we have this command right here called checkpoint computer and by supplying it a description and here I have Mr. PowerScripts test and a restore point type now you don't have to provide this parameter but it will default to the first option application install if you don't supply something so I'm just gonna give it modify settings in this case and I'm gonna run this but it's actually not gonna run and it'll tell us why a new system restore point cannot be created because one is already created within the past 24 hours. In the help guide for these commandlets, it says that you can only create a restore point once every 24 hours on Windows 8 systems. I'm running Windows 7, so it looks like it's the same case for this operating system as well. So once every 24 hours, you can create your own um, restore point. Um, so it's not going to show up, but take my word for it I ran this yesterday I gave it the description and um, the restore type so that's it now what if you want to perform a system restoration well you use restore computer and you give it this um, parameter restore point and you provide it one of the sequence numbers that you can see inside of get computer restore point so if I put in 275 what will happen is it'll close all the uh, programs on my machine and it will restart into a restore mode and so I'm not gonna run that because it'll kinda mess up my little presentation here but that's it so those are the commandlets to work with restore points on your Windows machine thanks for watching